possible. In 1927, on the outer reaches of occupied space, a child was found adrift in a photon beam. His rescuers named him Lightman. By the time he was 12, many considered Lightman to be the greatest musician alive. In 1952, Lightman began his legendary Gold Weaver tour. The tour would culminate with a performance unlike any other a duet with the Glamour Gong. It was to be the greatest performance in the history of the universe. Amagon resides in the Hyperion Whale Zone. All are welcome to enter the Whale Zone. But only those who entertain the Glamagon are permitted to leave. For many, it is a one-way trip. Risking his life and that of his crew, Lightman arrived at the Whale Zone in August of 53. known of the Glamagon's biology. It is described as a vision so brilliant that many creatures remain transfixed. And 
watch it until they perish. Understandably, Glamagons are very hard to impress. of lightning and the Glamagon survived the performance. Their duet was heard across dimensions and cemented Lightman's place as one of humankind's seminal artists. In his return, Lightman was granted command of the Cosmic Lung. The Lung is an entertainment vessel with a rich history, stepping stone for many legendary artists. Holiday Street must be headed in the right direction. Grollum, talent, and flair. This must be the place. I didn't know you could talk. 
I resisted it as long as I could. Hmm. You have the bearing of a creature in the instinctual throes of some vast cosmic migration. Yeah. Wow. I guess I am. Does a migration always go there and back? Or can it be one way? It can be one way. Why? Not planning a return trip? Not as myself, no. Listen, I'm trying to make an appointment with Star Gordon. Really? You'd better go straight through. Uh, I'd like to make an appointment. Dreadful. Huh? What is? That was the entrance of a busker, not a crossfire hurricane. It's a damn monstrosity. Look at the size of it. Ugh. An entrance? Literal or metaphysical, cannot be undone, Francis. Right. First impressions. Still testing this holographic stage out. Personal project of mine. I'll let you take it for a test drive. You lucky duck. such an insignificant creature. It was your pleasure. And, of course, you're looking for representation. No. I'm trying to make an appointment with Star Gordon. <laughs> Star Gordon? Are you absolutely sure? Well, I need to get back to the Cosmic Lung. Mm, I can understand that. But is it worth the risk? 
What? What does that mean? Hey! All be it for me to argue. I'm sure he'll be happy for the work. I is what worth the risk? Oh, his den is on the other side of Disco Worm Ridge. Oh, it's gonna be a hell of a ride, human. I'd bet my hump on it. to Star Gordon's. The trip of a lifetime. Keep your limbs inside the cart at all times. Just sing to power your journey. I won't be singing. Never suited me. Can I play a holographic guitar? You're welcome to try that sort of thing.
been a very long time since a little fly buzzed in here. I'm looking for Star Gordon. <laughs> Well, this is Star Gordon's, isn't it? Isn't it? I think so. You, friend of Lightman's? Yeah, I am the laser brain. I'm trying to get back to the cosmic lung. Ah, that's so. You got the makings of a story in you. I can smell it. Sometimes I feel like it's already been written for me. Who I am. Where I should be going. Ah, but where you're from. That's what interests me. Why don't we go on a trip together, hmm? You can tell me all about it. Yeah, cool. Where are we going? Oh, to the stars. Tell me of your home planet. Welcome back, Night Owls. Our last guest for all eternity is the Laser Brain. An entertainer from beyond our naive concepts of reality. Welcome. I'm manipulating the thoughts of your television audience. I do it all the time. You're from Candy Hammer, correct?
That's correct, yes. Ooh. Tell me about it. Um, sure. It's a utopian civilization devoted to leisure and luxury. Is it as wondrous as it sounds? Oh, stunningly, every sunrise of vision, every touch and affair. Hmm, but there must be some version of sorrow. Well, that's what the trampolines are for. How many does it take? An ocean. <laughs> Your conquests seem outlandish, unbelievable in some cases. What would you say is your greatest achievement? Being the first soloist to jam with an alien mothership. There must be no greater feat, no experience more visceral. I was never the same. I was changed. And I suppose there's no coming back. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give to see a show like that. To get out of the house for a night. To drown out the voices just for a while. There's been much made about your escape from the planet. How did it happen? On a starship made from champagne flutes. Oh, sounds luxurious. Possibly Dazzling. The in-flight entertainment was exceptional. What did you watch? A mystery. Something about Prague disappearing? Did you ever see the ship again? We talk. Have coffee if she's in town. It's a dizzying tale. I wonder what kind of creature would be born from these strange circumstances. What would they dream? Love, fear. What scares you? What scares me? Uh, hello? Where would I begin? Uh, my uncle. Your uncle? Who's your uncle? He's a legend where I'm from. He's cast in bronze. And I'm some pale, fleshy boy. Voices from the past. Bronze statues. Hard to reconcile with. Though, if you don't mind me saying, these sound like the worries of a terrestrial teenage boy. Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not true. Hmm, the dreary doldrums of a humanoid. Without grief or grandeur? No, totally untrue. You're lying to our live studio audience, aren't you? They seem affable, I know, but they're ravenous. <laughs> they're, uh, what? We're all hungry for blood out here. Once Lightman knew we planned to eat him, he never came back. What? But that's all we've got time for, I'm afraid. You have been a delight. Yeah, pleasure to be here. 
yes, but we're not really here, are we? Excuse me? Not really anywhere at all! <laughs> Hello? Star Gordon? <laughs> Lost your head in there, little hen. Oh, I thought you were going to shoot the coop. Sorry. Yeah. I kind of forgot where I was, what I was doing. That happened a lot. Yeah. It's kind of my thing. It wasn't terrible for a first try. Now, time to cut a track. When do we get back to the long? New here, ain't you? The cosmic extraordinary is not linear. It moves around, wears disguises, loops itself in ribbons. I've never been in a real recording studio. Oh, made all kind of records here. Got a bootleg of the first drum. Now, why don't you play a few notes to give me some levels? A revelation! <laughs> But I'm getting a, a little buzz in here. Like an audience unimpressed by a hackneyed magician. You getting that? No. Think you'll need a little mountain reverb. Hold on to something. Sure. W wait, what? What happened to these guys? Saw Glamagon. So spectacular they couldn't look away, poor bastards. A Glamagon? Lightman jammed with a Glamagon. Yeah, yeah, that's going back. The trick is you have to be more spectacular than the Glamagon. I've got a Glamagon of my own. We've all got Glamagons, I suppose. But for this performance, you are the Glamagon. Promise me you'll play as if your dreams were now memories. And the wonders of reality were all within your reach. Wow.
died. I'm not sure where it began or where it really ended. Exactly. You get it. It's always a thrill when someone gets it. All this nonsense seems to make perfect sense to me. Maybe you're a little closer to finding the road you ought to be on. Out here, it feels easy, like, like I'm where I'm supposed to be. And that's good, isn't it? I don't think so. It's supposed to be hard, making serious stuff. It's supposed to be painful. If it comes easy, I feel like I'm not trying hard enough. You're a weird kid. If you remember anything, remember this. Your story is who you are. And once someone knows the road you're on, they cannot help but imagine where it leads. You know, it was the trip of a lifetime. The way back to the cosmic lung? It's in the lake. I am the laser brain from Candy Hammer, soloist of the first intergalactic transmission. Hmm. We find you initially compelling, mildly spectacular, but no more than a fleck of glitter in the snow. No, that's not... And we must be entertained! Oh, we must be fed! Uh... Violetta! Help? Your laser show reminds me of Lightman. Well then, let's dance.
fresh, undeniably. It is a gift, and one gift deserves another. Step into the light, and I shall project your image across the known universe. Whoa! The known universe? On every spectrum, station, and frequency. From the greatest metropolis to the smallest mountain town. Well, step into the light. That's pretty heavy. That's enormously heavy. You refuse. It's because, well, it's kind of complicated. Back home... People think I'm gonna replace a hero. You're ashamed of what you have become. No. I don't know. I feel sorry for you, friend. I really do. For this decision may haunt your entire life. trip is a real freak out. Where did everybody go? Blast! Lightning's playing! Lightman must be playing the headline show. He's a wizard! Makes me feel like pulling some shapes. Dance complete. Look behind you. The thing was huge. Cool, cool, cool. Where to? I'm afraid I have no idea what happened to your coat. Have you checked the buffet? The squash court? 
the rodeo. These finds are from Calypso. I saw these guys in the Heliotroms. Lightman must collect them on his travels. It's Lightman's little garden of adventures. clearly state no whinging. Be gone. I didn't catch its name. I wouldn't say I'm impressed just yet. I didn't catch its name. I'm glad we've got a few more shows to go. Why wouldn't you do it? Right, the whole project my image thing. It, no one really warned me about that. She was going to broadcast you across the universe. She was going to broadcast my lasers across the universe. Why the hell wouldn't you do it? Because I just know... If everyone saw me dressed up playing nonsense... Everyone? You mean Calypso? That's everyone I know. <laughs> Why do you care? What could they possibly think of you? They'll know I'm a sham. That I'm not what I'm supposed to be. That when I said I was a folk musician, I was lying to them. You're not Johnson Vendetti. You're a kid. You're not meant to have it all figured out. It was already figured out for me. And I still couldn't make it stick, you see? Even when the path is so clear, I am just continuously wandering off. You could have toured the galaxy. You would have never seen Calypso again. Why wouldn't you do it? Returning to the travel gate. He'd like a word. Where to? been a lag in the backing tracks. No one's to blame. How'd the kid do? Trom's offered to project his image across the known universe. Aha! Incredible! What, really? Yep. He turned it down.
Oh, well, of course he did. He's an artist, barely in his formative years. The prodigy, a master's apprentice. You know the chance that kid just blew? For us? For me, Mark? My name is... Your name's gonna be nothing if you keep missing your cues. Don't think I haven't noticed. When you're ready for the next show, meet me at the travel gate. Where to? Why are you playing guitar? Why are you dancing around? Why are you putting on a show, huh? Because I got lightning in my hands. That's what I like to hear. So come on, tell me, what is it you're afraid of? It's hard to explain. Afraid they'll laugh at you? No. Well, yes, but that's not the biggest part of it. Back home, I mean something there. Some folks have all their hopes caught up in me. Like, I'm gonna bring back something that's lost. Well, baby, sounds like the world's on your shoulders. I thought I'd grow into this folk mastermind. I'm starting to realize that might not be who I am. And it scares me. I'm glad you're never gonna give them what they want. You're probably right. Problem is, you think you've only got two options. Either giving everybody what they want, or failing. You haven't even considered there's a third option, have you? What's that? Are you an artist? I probably don't have a choice. An artist's job is not to give people what they want, Francis is to give people something they could never have imagined. Can I ask you a question? Did you ask me to come out here because of my uncle? Your uncle? Who's your uncle? No one. No one at all.
am I where I'm supposed to be? Hard to tell. What's your first impression? The smell of crystal prawn dumplings. That's the place. Only stage on this rock is the Lumiere Volante. Jazz Club, gaudy, ultra exclusive. You got a plan for that? Arrive late, leave early, steal glassware. Electric. And good luck finding the place. What do you mean? It's hidden? Not hidden, but I've never found it in the same place twice. Play there, and they'll fly you straight back to the lung. Wait, don't you flake out again. Damn it! Cannonade. The appearance of a Wonder Grill is a complex affair. Where, with whom, what time, in what manner of lighting? 
the Wonder Grill asks these questions. Oh, the answers can reveal truths about ourselves. Why is the lighting important? It is a story. Each color a mood. Each flair a character. Every setting a landscape. What is your destination, little fish? You heard of the Lumiere Volante? For a while, it was in the sewing drawer of a school canteen. Then, the aviary of a king. Last I heard, it was near the city of Beige. But nothing has drawn breath in Beige for 500 years. Place is tombed and cocooned. Only way in is beneath. Through the caves. You have experienced the all Scottish Wonder Grill! Quite friendly. I have no way of knowing what they're called, but I would have named them Pink Spotted Rock Stompers. Volante, the Wonder Krill was right. It was in the caves. Musique diabolique. Cool.
No, I'm... The talent? There's no one here. I want to play every stage in the universe. Almost every stage. Right, like the setting informs the content. So, that's it? That's the whole show? Best of luck. Violetta said you'd give me a ride back to the Cosmic Lung. <laughs> Excuse me? A giant turtle. Well, what am I supposed to do? What's this? I'll call you. here greed power repression rebellion usual stuff so what do I do now honestly no idea keep broadcasting I guess never had someone get stranded before 
You're kidding me. This place used to have a warp turtle. So where is it now? My guess? I left with everyone else. Totally and utterly fantastic. Cheer up, kiddo. You got a lot of people tuning in. Your broadcast has been syndicated across the galaxy. What? When? Why? All good questions. It's a morbid answer. Ratings go up when someone gets stranded. Because, you know... It could all go wrong. Happy travels, kid. Yeah. people all the same what happened in this place a city without color without a singular flourish Problem with me taking this? Depends what's in it for me. You're not from around here, are you, love? Your suit's custom. No labels, no trademark, no specific signature. It's the first time you've worn that suit. That's right. Your glasses. Herman and Funklum, distributed in the central and eastern USA. So you're some hotshot fresh out of Earth, huh? First tour. First tour. Well, fun. What's your destination? Well, I'm trying to get back to the Cosmic Lung. I've got to find a warp turtle. Not really sure where to begin. A warp turtle? The only warp turtle in these parts resides in the walled city of Glimmer. And... Where is that, exactly? You want a lift? You got a ride? Darling, I've got THE ride. Perfect place to stand out. They call me Frida. My ship is the Rubicola. I am the Laser Brain. Get yourself acquainted with the ship. 
I'll be in the lounge. This is the view from the porthole. Carvaggio, this is a laser brain. Nice Don't to... speak to it. Oh, sorry. It is an ordeal. Not for the unprepared. Now, Glimmerdim. Glimmerdim. You can't get in dressed like that, darling. What's wrong with this? They are devotees of style, fashion, form. At least they think they are. The guitar I heard in beige. That was you, wasn't it? Yeah, I was jamming with the neon shrimp. You're a musician. And musicians see themselves as ocean terrors. A life of brooding solitude, defined only by the brilliance of their fangs. The opposite is true. Great artists surround themselves in a menagerie of wildlife. I think I understand. Take great care in your creative entourage. Rumors, images, fashion, lighting. Take care as if setting a precious stone in platinum. I've got a closet in my quarters near the front of the ship. Go see what you can find. suit
striking a statement. What do you think, Calvaggio? A triumph of the human spirit! Sorry about that. Now, where did you get this outfit? From the mall in your wardrobe. Incorrect. Where in all the wondrous cities and canals and black holes of the universe did you get this? Oh. I stole it. From a lockbox, hidden in the shared, feverish dreams of a primate colony. Wonderful, courageous, Calvaggio. Righteous! Now, I don't mean to alarm you. But there's a hologram hovering about the ship. Says he's a friend of yours. And I don't mean to be rude, but he's attracting chromosquitos. This is the view from a porthole. Chromosquitos. Feeding in the deserts of Glimmerdom. That you, Francis? My name is. Aren't you about to go on? Man, there's no easy way to say this. I've been canned. What? What happened? Oh, a lot of things happened. This is the latest and long sequence of happened things. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault, son. Well, it is, actually. You've been promoted to the captain of the Cosmic Lung. I've been what? No, no, that's insane. The red right hand in charge of broadcast has sent word. More people watching your show than mine. Therefore, you're the captain. You, you have to say no. You have to tell them I'm not ready. No, 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 no. No arguing with the ratings, kid. Half the galaxy's got their eyeballs on you. So many eyeballs. I never made it this far into Glimmerdom. It's rather wonderful, isn't it? I guess things seem more wonderful when they're ending. upon the city. Are you ready? Got everything you need from the closet? Yeah, I'm a sensation. What's your plan to get in, love? 
I've got a ticket. Really? Oh, I see. So there's no need for it. Daring guns blazing infiltration? I don't think so. Listen. They're gonna resist you at first, mock you. Because they've never seen anything like you. The glimmer the Marinians think they've reached peak fashion. They're wrong. You wanna get their attention? Make yourself seen. Well, the laser brain. It was an affair. Goodbye, friends. Thanks for everything. And good luck. <laughs>